All right, I've been trying to find a couple signals to demonstrate how the phasing and receiver diversity works. Uh, right now, receiver number one is attached to the loop antenna. Receiver number two is the West Beverage. And you'll notice listening to this very foreign AM broadcast station on 550 AM, there's an annoying heterodyne. It's hard to say where that's coming from. Now, you know, you would think a notch filter. I'm in AM mode, but of course the notch filter has absolutely no impact. In fact, it seems to make it worse. Uh, let me get the uh, diversity control back here. Now, you notice uh, this is how the signal sounds on receiver number two, listening on the beverage. Again, there's a broadcast station in there, but it's being blocked by that annoying uh, one KC note heterodyne. If I switch over to uh, receiver number two, um, that's that's the beverage. So receiver number one up here, not the reference source. Receiver number one up here is the uh, loop antenna. Receiver number two is the beverage. You can see that the, the heterodyne is being heard on both antennas. Now I've preset the phase here just to show you what it's like when you go to the receive one plus receive two. You'll see that the heterodyne will disappear. Boom. Gone. Now we got to that point by moving the phasing control, which is really very easy to use. So you'll notice you don't hear that heterodyne anymore. We turn off diversity altogether. Boom. There's that crazy heterodyne. It's coming from some station somewhere. We'll enable the diversity again. That's This is what it sounds like on the loop on receiver one. This is what it sounds like on the beverage receiver uh, number two. Again, the heterodyne is, is heard on both. When we go to the uh, diversified receiver one plus receiver two, it's gone. Now, what does it sound like? How do you tune it in? Well, if I rotate the phasing control, you'll see what happens. We can move it through. And there's a point. There's a point where you're combining the phase and the gain. And there's one unique point where you've nulled out that heterodyning station. There it is. So there's an example of an offending signal heard on both antenna number one, antenna number two. When you phase, boom, it's gone. I think that's one good example of uh, how well phasing and diversity works on the 200D.